In this video, I'm gonna give you the defense with some of the most unstoppable glitch blitzes in Madden 25. And then we're gonna take them in game so I can show you just how overpowered they are and how you can use them as well. So if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for when we drop new videos. With that, let's get into it. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a forward play mini scheme to help you absolutely lock down everybody that you play in Madden 25. This is from the formation Dime 3-2, and we're gonna be using the San Francisco 49ers defensive playbook. And as always, this full scheme with even more glitchy blitzes and lockdown coverage can be found on winmadden.com. With that, let's get to the first play. Now, this defense is some of the glitchiest blitzes in the entire game, but we do need to make some small changes to our coaching adjustments in order to get them to come in consistently. So here's what we're gonna do. From the play call menu screen, again, we're gonna be in the formation Dime 3-2. We're gonna click in the right stick on our controller to pull up the coach adjustments menu. We need to make two critical changes to get this defense to work best. We're gonna go ahead and turn auto flip to off. That's an absolute must. And then we're gonna put our auto alignment to base. Everything else in here can stay unbalanced or default. You don't need to change a thing. I'm just gonna leave it blank for now. Now, from the play call menu screen again, we need to make some changes in here with our personnel. So we're gonna click the Y button on Xbox, which is triangle and PlayStation, and we're gonna substitute out the middle linebackers in these two spots, and we're gonna put safeties in these positions. And we're gonna do this because those players are gonna be faster, they're gonna have better Excel, they're gonna help our blitzes come in and come in a lot faster. So those are the coaching adjustments and the personnel changes that we need to make. Let's get into the glitchiest blitzes in the entire game and show you exactly how to do them. The first play we're gonna take a look at has one of the glitchiest a gaps in all of madden 25 this is the play overload three seam all right now with the play overload three seam we're going to send one of the glitchiest a gaps in the entire game and there are some special things you need to pay attention to in order to get it to work but if you do it's darn near unstoppable so here we go so again here's overload three seam now what i want you to notice is two things number one we have auto flip off and baseline on. Remember, there's a very important reason why we have auto flip off. And it's because we always wanna call this play with the blitzing slot corner coming from the left side of the screen. He always has to be coming from the left or this blitz will not work, all right? So very important. Next, we need the ball to be on the right hash mark. I know that's not something that you can control, but when the ball is on or very close to the right hash mark, we have maybe the most unstoppable blitz in the entire game, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it, all right? So what we're gonna do from just an adjustment standpoint here is we're gonna just go ahead and zone out or man up that blitzing slot corner on the left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put him into a vert hook, for example, but that's it. Now you can go ahead and shade however you want. If you wanna shade down to put hard flats on the field, completely up to you. Now this guy is always gonna be our user. What we are gonna do with him is we are gonna draw the attention of the right guard, right? So when the ball is snapped, you're just gonna kind of run towards him for a second, then you're gonna drop into coverage, go guard whoever you want. But let's just snap the football here, and you're gonna see we draw the attention of that right guard. We are gonna get instant A-gap pressure right up the middle, and this is one of the fastest blitzes in the entire game. So let me just take this into instant replay and show you what's happening here. And again, you're gonna see we draw the attention of that right guard. Look at our other, it, it, it's the middle linebacker position, but again, we subbed a safety in there. Look at him just scream in through the A-gap for one of the fastest blitzes in the entire game. Now, what makes this even better? Again, you can change the coverage behind here however you want. Really doesn't matter. Um, you can you know, create some type of cover two on the left if you want, if you're really good at adjustments. So it's like a cover five type of look, cover two on the left, cover three on the right, two plus three is five. Um, this will still work. But what makes this even more insane is a lot of the times if they block a running back, it will still come in. Now, especially if they block a running back on the right side. So let me just move him over here and block him. If they block a running back on the right, there's a high chance this is still coming in. So let's just go ahead and snap this here. You can see he still comes in even with a blocked running back on the right. This is again, one of the best blitzes in the entire game. If they block him on the left, there's still a good chance he'll come in, but he does block a little bit more consistently on the left side. So that is the first play. Overload three seam, one of the best A gaps in the game. But if you are not on the right hash mark, again, fair warning, the blitz is not gonna come in unless you're on the actual right hash mark. And again, has nothing to do with the strong side, weak side. It has to be the right hash mark specifically. So that's overload three seam, one of the best blitzes in Madden 25. The next play we're gonna take a look at is one of the best blitzes every single year in Madden. This is the play DB Fire 2. 
All right, with DB Fire 2, again, we have one of the better blitzes in the entire game. It is still really good year after year after year, and it's no different this year. So here's what DB Fire 2 looks like. Again, should look almost identical to when we run Overload 3 Seam or when we run any other play because, again, we have base align on and none of these plays move the safeties or anything. So really simple. Now, in order to set up this blitz, all we're going to do is QB contain. So that's RB, RB on Xbox, R1 on R1 on PlayStation. And then you can use her this guy or you can use her this guy. Either one, doesn't really matter. Let's just use her this guy, for example. Let's just mix it up. Now, what you're gonna see is that if they send out five people, we should get somebody coming in free off of one of the edges for a sack of the quarterback. Again, if they don't have Jalen Hurts breaking tackles on us, but that is what we're looking for. Now, that's really good. But again, why this is such a good blitz, even if they block a running back, a lot of the time this blitz is still gonna come in. So again, here's what the blitz looks like. We're gonna QB contain, and then let's just get this two controllers here, here we go. <laughs> we snap the football, a lot of the time this is still gonna come in. And whether we get edge pressure or we get somebody kind of getting a disengage up the middle, this is still really, really good. So again, what makes this defense so good is you can call multiple different blitzes that are gonna look exactly the same from a defensive standpoint right you're not going to be able to tell whether you're sending overload three seam or db fire here and then if they send out five people we should get somebody coming in free for a sack of the quarterback and again jalen hurts breaking that first tackle giving us a little bit of problems but you can see how overpowered the scheme is and we were only two plays in so let's get to the next one and the next play we're going to take a look at is one of the best coverage defenses in the entire game this is the play cover three cloud all right, now with Cover 3 Cloud, we have one of the better coverage defenses in the game. This is gonna help us protect the middle, protect the flats, and protect deep. This is a great, great coverage D, and again, when you're mixing this in with the blitzes that we're sending, this becomes really frustrating to deal with. So again, everything looks the same, right? The baseline is on, everybody's in the exact same spots, whether we're running overload three seam or DB fire or this. And again, you can use either one of these two players. Now, here's a secret about Madden. It's been true for the last couple of years. If you are only rushing three people, you are going to not get great sheds from your defensive lineman. So the trick here is to blitz your user and then to stand close enough to the line of scrimmage that you get this green dot over your head. When you do this, the CPU recognizes you as a fourth blitzer, and then your three defensive linemen will actually shed, even though you can go drop into coverage. So we're gonna do that out of this play, right? So this is gonna look still similar to overload three press because we're because we're gonna come down and we're gonna try to draw that right guard's attention. But you can do this with either player if you want. So again, same thing with before, you can shade however you want. Like if you want to shade down and play hard flats, you can totally do that. But let's snap the football here. And again, you're gonna see you just have some of the best coverage defense in the game and then you're just relying on your three man blitz to come in now another thing that you can do out of this or what you're going to see i guess is you're going to oftentimes see your opponent start blocking a running back or blocking a tight end because they're expecting one of those blitzes to come in this is the perfect time to call this because when you do this then then you only need to guard four receiving threats and you've got eight people in coverage including your user and you can just take away everything and then just rely on the pressure to eventually come home if get jail if jalen hurts ever gets tackled here but that is a great mix in play right blitz blitz coverage and you're just mixing it up with your opponent always keeping them guessing and wondering what's coming next and now we're gonna talk about how to shut down the run game. Cause what good is a defense if it can't stop the run? All right, let's talk about stopping the run real quickly. And we're gonna, you can literally use any play that we've covered, but my favorite run defensive play is really DB fire too. So let's just call that for example. And again, this is what it looks like. Now, what we're gonna do from here is first, we're just gonna see if this will stop their run play just by default. So again, you've got five people rushing and a lot of them are coming from the outside. That's that's a great blitz angle a lot of the times. But again, you can use either one of these two. I typically like using on the running back side if they're in shotgun, for example. So a lot of runs are very different. I'm not gonna be able to show you every type of run defense here, but I'm gonna give you some tricks to be able to do it. So first and foremost, what if they run an inside zone, right? Well, DB Fire should do a pretty decent job of stopping inside zones. You've got five people rushing, your user's there to clean it up. It should be pretty pretty straightforward and pretty easy to stop. Now, again, you can just call DB Fire and you can just kind of bank on that you're gonna have somebody there to stop the run. You can loop with your user like I just did there. But what I wanna show you is you do have a universal gap shoot out of Dime 3-2. It's, it's been the same for the last couple of years. So let's just say I call Cover 3 Cloud, for example. If I know an inside zone is coming, I can simply slide my defensive line 
away from the running back. So the running back's on the left. I'm going to slide my D-line to the right by hitting left on the D-pad and then right on the left stick. And then I'm just going to literally stand here. And then when the ball is snapped, I'm just going to be able to shoot right up this gap and tackle the running back. That, that has been the same inside zone gap shoot out of dollar, which is now dime 3-2 for the past several years. Now, if you're really in trouble in this and you don't know how to stop the run and you're just struggling with it, you can simply just call like uh, DB fire two and then you can maybe put like your outside corner in a deep third, but you can just bring down one of the safeties. Then you've got lots of run support. You can block, you can blitz all the linebackers and everything. Like they're gonna have nowhere to go with this at all. Inside, outside, your user's gonna be there. You can absolutely shut down the run out of this formation. You kind of have to be a little bit committed to it. You gotta know what you're doing with it, but it, it really surprisingly is a pretty decent run defense, especially because the run game really isn't that great in Madden 25. So with that, hopefully you're enjoying the scheme, but let's get to the gameplay. All right, good. We're going to actually start on defense here. I feel like we never start on defense in defensive gameplays. That's that's a huge win. Here we go. I got to change that meter. We're going to roll with it for the game, but we're going to change that. All right, here we go. Let's get him. Get him. A lot of motion. I like it. Going nowhere with the run game, though. And I think I'm going to keep the soft squats out there. I think that's good enough. And then I'm just going to play the middle. Oh, he threw it at me. I th All right. Hopefully he doesn't run. He does. I mean, of course, he runs a draw play. I got to guard kind of the seam on the right side here. There we come screaming in with the A gap out of overload three seam. I've got lots of help over to the left side. It is going to be this play. All right. There we go. Fourth down. Let's go. Yeah, we come just hollering at him. Great defense. There we go. It's not, but I don't know if I had anybody there. I might have had X. I don't have anything. I'm gonna throw it away. I think he ran cover three there. We're gonna we're gonna snap it like it's a cover two though. It is some type of like cover six type of thing. Come on, Purdy. Give me some yards, baby. Let's go. That's cover three again. Man loves his cover threes. Alright, whatever. I mean, we've got him. We're going to take him. I have no Christian McCaffrey. That's right. We're injured. All right, it's been a cover three on every snap. Let's just assume it's a cover three, and we're going to go for the bomb. There we go. Laser beam. All right. Hit him. All right, here we go run with him i'm not gonna like fully commit to the run here um he did run to the outside and again like we talked about in the tutorial video you can see the slot corner did actually play that quite well he broke a tackle a little bit but um he played the stretch really well there with the slot corner blitzing so pretty happy with that actually more auto motion stuff more run okay wasn't ready for that was not ready for that at all i'm gonna send all linebackers here i think he's running the football for sure Yep, there we go. We're there. Running the football again. Nowhere to go. All right. We have the most terrified offensive player I've ever played against. Let's see if he snaps it. Oh, that's got to be my user. I went user too far to the right. So that blitz almost came in. He blocked a running back there and just barely the running back picked it up. We're playing hard flats. Running back's on the right. Not going to be able to pick it up even with a blocked running back here. Oh, good little dot. I actually mixed up my coverage there a little bit. All right, he's got a screenplay on. It was a super fast screenplay. Oh, I need to look up that screenplay. This looks like a stretch to the right. Yeah. I don't know how we got to the outside there still. Four yards, no big deal. So you do get sometimes some people lining up a little bit weird. Oh, pick it. Oh, we had it. Uh, that time we had somebody line up a little bit weird because it was Trey White Flex. Another run play. Just will not stop running. Fourth and seven. Here we go. You gonna run it again? No screen. We we scream at him though. All right, here we go. Back on O. All right. I don't see anything I like here. Well, it's a cover three again. Had RB. Come on, Samuel. Oh, I forgot that 
I'm on conservative. Shoot. I didn't have it. Got Y again though. Just have A right here. All right. Here, so I'm gonna try to turn him to the inside. Uh, don't get a touchdown though. All right, so that's good. Um, now I can set over. I can send overload three seam. Pretty much no matter what. Just gonna look at something like this. A little bit of a weird setup here, but we're gonna run it. He did pick up the blitz, and I left the match on on that side, and he takes advantage of it. I'm going to have to switch stick over there, probably. We get the screamer, though. How does he get that off? And I've got no flat on the left. I'm just hoping that this comes in fast enough. It does. I think I ran into somebody else that allowed me to not pick that off there. We're screaming. There we go. Fourth and nine. Yeah, left side, our ball, all right. No time though, shoot. Great, great first half, we're good. Pretty kind of under through that, but we'll take it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do other than just like take the free touchdowns here. There's another one, all right, we're up 21 nothing. He might be gone here. All right, that's his best play so far, the kick return. Good hit. And good D there. Take that. Fully guard this. My particular routes should be fine. Give me that. All right, let's go. There's DB fire. The blitz was coming in. He, he had to get rid of the football and... He did not have a good route combo for <laughs> a cover two zone out there. All right, another pick. There we go. Good defense, good defense. Let's go. Now, this defense is great, and you're going to get a lot of stops. But in order to become a better Madden player, you need to be able to score as well. So if you like this video, you should watch this video next, where I show you the most unstoppable offense in Madden 25.